Hey folks, welcome to this week's edition of Brush Pile Fishing. We have a great show in store. We're gonna do an afternoon show, actually. We're here in Lake Palestine in Texas. It's the first week of November. Temperatures are in about the 70s. And you know our guest, he's been with us before, William Oliver. And William has been on some really, really nice fish. He's gonna give us some lessons on the Garmin unit. And I tell you what, I'm excited. Jig fishing with Bonehead and Rockport Rattler. I'm ready to get started. William Oliver, when we come back on Brush Pile Fishing. Many people look at a lake and feel a sense of calm serenity. Crappie fishermen feel the heart-pounding anticipation of the thump. That's why host Russ Bailey is addicted to crappie fishing. It's this addiction that takes Russ from the Midwest to the Deep South in search of the best lakes, techniques, and patterns from some of the best crappie anglers in the country. Right here on Brush Pile Fishing. Hey folks, welcome back to Brush Pile Fishing. Here the first week of November, Lake Palestine here in Texas, and you know this guy, William Oliver. William, how's it going today, man? Great, glad you guys made it back. Well, I'll tell you what, I couldn't wait to get back here. I've been following your Facebook post. You're killing me, man. Every single day, you're either hunting or catching them big slabs. And you said here lately on Palestine, it's been on fire. Yeah, it's, it's been really good. Um, customers have had no trouble uh, catching two pound fish on every trip lately. Uh, we got pretty stout wind right now. If you can see the flags behind the pines, but they're standing straight out. So we're gonna do something completely different. I got a protected area, it's like 11 foot of water. Uh, not many people think about fishing 11 feet deep. Total depth, we're gonna still be catching them suspended probably six to nine foot down. Okay. But we're going shallow. Um, I feel like we can catch some big ones. We're gonna make it work. All right, I'm ready to get started, you. I'm, absolutely. Lake Palestine with William Oliver. Here we go, folks. Super big fish. That is a nice one. Oh, Ooh. yes, it is. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. And William, I had just seen him on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Good one to get us started, folks. Welcome back to Brush Pile Fishing, Lake Palestine, Texas, with this man, probably one of the best guides in the country, William Oliver. William, you make me sick watching him post every day. I Great finally time. get here. Right. William, as we're heading to our next spot here, can you tell the folks? First week of November, what, what pattern are these fish normally in down here? Well, you know, classically in the fall, on most East Texas lakes, these fish are starting to migrate to creek mouths, uh, settling into river channels, uh, so on and so forth. Our lake is a little bit different. It's the first week of November, but it turned off to be hotter than love today. Uh, it's probably 65, 68 degrees right now. They're they're following bait, you yeah. know, when it boils right down to it, that's that's what they're doing, so. You know, folks, we're in about 11 foot of water. T water temperature is about <laughs> 60 degrees, full of stumps through here, full of stumps. Yeah, we run, we are live scoping, um, you know, hate it, love it, whatever. This technology has changed the game. We utilize it fully, and uh, there's never been anything this big to come out and crappie fishing. It's, it's amazing. Well, and the one big advantage in these stump fields, there are so many here. So normally if I was coming through here, I'd be fishing them all. Well, now you're you're knowing which one's not the fish. Absolutely. Because you'll see if the fish are on there. Absolutely. And the other thing is you're, you're seeing exactly where they are. You're watching your bait drop. Folks, you are putting it on them like that last fish. I seen him on the bottom. I moved it over. As soon as it got there, boom, it was on. And you're fishing a brush glider on its side, is that what I saw? Yes. I'm guessing your classic color is purple shad. I don't even have to ask. How did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> I know that's what you're gonna ask. So. I'm, uh, I'm bombing a Palestine special stump bug on, on a bonehead quarter ounce head. I've got the old Rockport Rattler jig head on there, but those brush gliders, man, I love those baits. 
Like you say, this one's rigged on its side. That's pretty classic for the fall. Like I said earlier, these fish are following bait, so uh, nothing looks more like a shad than that brush glider on its side. What kind of limit you have here? Statewide bag, 25 a day per person with a 10 inch minimum. I'll try to get it off the bow if I can. One of them is real big. I just saw him. This top one is a decent fish. Look at him come up. Oh, doggone. <laughs> yeah, he's not bad, William. <laughs> that rod got him back one. Woo, look at that. There's two more bigger than him. Solid pound and three quarter type fish. If that's a crop, that you're fish. finna get your pole bent. There you saw it. Got, got him. him. That's a hammer and a half. Oh, God. Drop it down till you see him and bam. Nice. Good <laughs> fish, brother. It's a great fish. On that fish, I tried to stay just above him to see if he'd come up. He didn't. So you drop down almost, and you'll see it touch on the screen. And man, you did that. He thumped her. <laughs> Another good, good fish. Yep. And you know, folks, with that, I want to take a second. We talk some on our on our podcast about when you go to hire a guide or whatever. William's the type of guide that you want to hire because he's not interested in him going out, catching all the fish, and then you just take him home. He wants to see you have a good day, but also explain what we are doing. And with this here, especially if, if someone's got their own boat and they're thinking about this, you're actually giving them lessons that they're going to pay a lot of money for somewhere else. Absolutely. So, you know, I spend tons of time on this. I run it every day, have for a while. I cut your learning curve down by every hour that I've put on it. You know, it saves you that amount of time. Um, and I'm passionate about teaching, you know. I always have been, you know. We talk about that a lot, so. It's, uh, I appreciate those words too, because it does mean a lot to me that people recognize that. We'll talk more later. Let's get back on the water. Stay tuned for more brush pile fishing action. B&M Poles. That's a three pound crappie. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Got it. Got it. Whether you're jigging, trolling, pulling, or pushing, B&M has your pole. My signature series rod. Third generation family company with over 70 years experience. Home to the Bucks Graphite Jig Poles. The first and best selling graphite jig pole in the U.S. for over 35 years. B&M Poles, the number one crappie pole company in the world. Hey folks, Russ Bailey here for Brush Pile Fishing. We are here in Kentucky at Cornfield Crappie with Mark Riddle. Mark, how we doing? Good, Russ, how are you? I'll tell you what, you just rigged our boat absolutely great products you have can you tell the folks about all you have to offer we got our monitor mounts we got a new bridge the thing we've done the most with has been the cable saver we've actually sold them worldwide we got them out to put the live scope on the trolling motor there you have it folks cornfield crappie if you want the boat that looks good cornfield crappie brush pile fishing is brought to you by these amazing companies grand lake st mary's crappie usa NKT.TV, Rockport Rattler, Power Pole, Bonehead Tackle, Kicker. It's not moving, is it? No, uh, I think. Uh, there he is. That one is. See, when they get in those root balls. Man. That... <laughs> right off the bottom again. Yep. That's that root ball fish. Oh, My goodness. God. Guys. Look at the mouth on this thing, folks. Gosh, look at there. I want to tell you, I dropped down on the bottom. As soon as I hit bottom, I had the slack in my line reeled up one time. He hit that thing so hard. That's a brush glider in there with a Rockport Rattler. He absolutely engulfed this thing. And I mean, it wasn't down there a half a second. Now, William, one of the things that I ask mm -hmm. all my guests that have got this unit, Straight out the box, how long did it take you till you were comfortable with reading what it's telling you? I ran a guide trip the very first day I had it. Really? So, but this stuff makes sense to me. I, I can't believe I can work a smartphone, let alone something <laughs> like this, but it just made sense. So this, this unit is very intuitive. I'm so impressed with them. Now, a brush pile tip. You know, folks, we've done uh, several shows now using the new Garmin unit. One of the things that William talked about, and I wanted to reiterate it, is once he found out where those fish were and where he wanted to drop down, 
he didn't have it, you know, flip the jig out, bring it back or work it over. What he tries to do is get that boat in position to where it's right where it needs to be, to where he can just lower that straight down over what he wants to fish. That way, when it gets close to it, he stops it, drops it slow. And again, if they didn't hit it, brings it up super, super slow. And a lot of times you'd see that. But again, we talked about boat positioning in any type of fishing. Just the same today. William was pinpoint on, got the boat in position, dropped straight overhead the target, and that's how we caught those fish. Right there. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you that's... folks, and William, you, you kind of made fun of me for having that purple shad. You know. No, that's an awesome <laughs> color. When, uh, when I just first hooked up with Bonehead, I started using these, and I called William one day and I said, Dude, that purple shad is unbelievable. And I fished it in murky water. I fished it in clear water. <laughs> and here it is on Palestine. It ain't too oh, bad either. No. <laughs> so I'm gonna drop down. There's a bright spot right here. Uh, there was a fish that was with us as a second ago that came this way. And just in case that's him, I'm gonna choke up a little bit, try to get my jig bright and that spot bright and ease it down. That's a fish. He's following it, and there he goes. <laughs> oh my gosh, clockwork. <laughs> what were you saying now? Just draw, and you've seen him chase that up. You got to see it that time. Yeah, so that slow lift triggers yeah. a bite 90% of the time on these fish. Awesome, look how thick those fish are. That's a really nice fish. He's at five feet deep. He's still 20 foot out. He's, I'm just kind of making a rainbow around. Gotcha. I want our, <laughs> this is stupid, but I want our shadows to not get over him. Uh, because a lot of times they'll leave and try to come underneath the boat if you shadow them. We learned that with live scope. I would have never imagined that in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. You got him out in open water. <laughs> There's one that left the tree in open water. He flipped out, let it fall back, and boom. We talk about that technology <laughs> being unbelievable. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying today's show here in Lake Palestine with my good buddy, William Oliver. I wanted to take a brief second and talk about our Brush Pile uh, Facebook page, Brush Pile YouTube page, and our website. As far as the YouTube and our website, if you missed any of our old shows, go there. They're 100% free to watch. You don't have to join anything. You can see the previous show I did with William, too. The other thing is, go to our Facebook, check it out, like it and share if you would. And the last, if you can't get enough crappie fishing, please join us on our new podcast on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart, get the app, and go to Brush Pile Fishing. We have great guests, and uh, it's about a 20-minute podcast nothing but crappie fishing. So if you get a chance, check it out. Now let's get back to the water here on Lake Palestine. War Eagle Boats, the most versatile line of hunting and fishing aluminum boats available. We strive to overcome real hunting and fishing obstacles, which drives us to create better products in the future. Check out the Blackhawk 2170, the ultimate crappie fishing boat. Built on a 22 degree V-Hull and paired with a 150 horsepower motor, you get lots of space and performance. All War Eagle boats are built to suit the needs of our customers, guaranteeing you a boat worthy of the investment. Visit WarEagleBoats.com to get your started today high quality American made product at one of the best price points in the industry. Customer service that's second to none. More importantly, they flat out catch fish. The new home for your fishing needs is BoneheadTackle.com. Get all the latest product information. Shop our new and improved tackle shop. We have baits for crappie, bass, striper, sand bass, saltwater and terminal tackle, bait styles and slim stick, stump bugs, brush gliders and bulk jig heads available. Check out our superior mono line, crankbaits for bass, and our top of the line carbon fiber fishing rods. Bonehead Tackle, family owned business with one goal in mind. Make fishing more fun and help all anglers catch more fish. Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by these outstanding sponsors. B&M Poles, over 70 years of quality and performance. War Eagle, built for hunters who love to fish. Suzuki, the ultimate four-stroke outboard. Slimeline, catch the fever. 
crappie magnet. Sore lip them all. Oh, here's three right here. He's up a little bit. You know, that's kind of a jungle right there. Those are like 12 inch fish. You know, I see you slime line a lot and that's cool, but this is the exact instance where I like our braid. You know, Bonehead makes a really good braid. And yep. Coupled with our whole system, you can get in and feel a little more comfortable bringing them out of the jungle. Like that? Uh-huh. Oh, you got the oh. top <laughs> Nice. And that one, you had to be in that jungle. That's right. Folks, if I haven't told you, I love the old purple shad and that Rockport Rattler. Getting that sound, that vibration. Look at there. That's only a 12 inch fish here, but compared to what we've been getting, we've actually been on the water about a half hour, folks, and it's an afternoon too. We just got here and he just misses one, but another darn good fish. I'm finna catch this one. Oh, no, nope, you're. You took him from me, William. <laughs> you seen me dropping down there. <laughs> Actually, you were already there. I was trying to take him from you. <laughs> the easiest way to catch these fish is to be very accurate from the start. So okay. I'm taking my time, letting the wind get just right. I know that they're exactly five foot out. They're actually right about there. And then when I set my bait down, here, let me, again, I'm not even going to show it to them until I'm just right. I hit a stump with the back of the boat as it was okay. turning. So I didn't like that. If you stick your rod out and push it right past mine, you'll be in. There you go. You actually ought to be getting hit. You got him. Oop, don't fall in, man. <laughs> That's that old bad knee for you. You saw that bonehead come out with reels? I did, and it's kind of hard not to see those. <laughs> <laughs> so we, of course, they're custom tailored to match the rest of our gear. But before you leave, we'll have to get you fixed up with a couple. They're Tell relatively you. new, but they're mega popular. They're 80 series reels, so they're small, very lightweight. Um, they hold, you know, roughly probably 175 yards of our 12 pound braid. There you got him. Nice fish. It's a little bit more difficult to do in these ways, folks, but there you go. Hey, are those black crappie? Couple of them, yes, for sure. But the, there's blacks and whites both on there. But you saw that they were brighter? Yep. Yeah. The way I get that is I brought my gain real hot. Like I'm up in the 70s on okay. my gain. But you see, I'm still clean in here. Yep. I run my TVG on medium. That's going to be super close. Easy up, and he's looking at it. Keep coming up. Uh, come on, fish. Pill it. There he is. Here yeah, he goes. That's a nice one. Heck yeah, he is. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> That's about twice I tried to Jerry grass your <laughs> fish from you. Look at there. Another good one. Guide have it. And that time, what I did, it was hard to hold. You actually maneuvered the boat. You seen my jig, oh, yeah. maneuvered the boat over to it, <laughs> and boom. Drove you right there. Oh, God. That was on that three inch slip stick. Yeah. Yeah, they like it. That's that new, uh, new blood moon color. Yeah. They like it a lot out here. I'm sure they'll like it all over the country. I was excited about it for this winter. I think it's gonna be very, very good.
Introducing NKT.TV, a brand new solution for the cord cutting generation. With NKT.TV, viewers enjoy viewer specific programming with the ability to pick and choose the channels you wish to subscribe to. Missed brush pile fishing this week? Catch it on NKT.TV, along with all your other pursuit channel favorites. NKT.TV offers dozens of network and channel options for you, the viewer, to choose from. So go ahead, cut the cord, and get everything you want with nothing you don't. Visit NKT.TV today. want to introduce that the new brush pile fishing store carries all the gear that i use in the brush pile fishing show just go to www.brushpilefishing.com and check out the crappie shop and find jigs apparel line nets bnm poles and so much more in the sale and clearance sections you'll find deep discounts on the gear that will help you put more fish in your boat that's brushpilefishing.com Let's check in with Russ for the Brush Pile Gear Check. Hey folks, right now it's time for the Brush Pile Gear Check. We're in Lake Palestine, we were vertical jigging, we started out in some shallow water, about 11 foot, we moved out into about 18, 19 foot. And I'll tell you what, it was a simple rig today, and as you can tell, the waves are still bouncing, but it was awesome. I was using my Signature Series 10 and a half foot uh, rod by B&M, as far as the reel, I had a Daiwa on, but we're gonna talk a little bit about what William was using also here in a second. Line, I had eight pound high-vis um, slime line. William was using a 12 pound uh, braid by Bonehead. Um, as far as the jigs, I had the Rockport Rattler, and these were quarter ounce jigs. We were in a lot of waves today. We wanted something that's gonna get down there and we could hold them vertical. And we use several types of bonehead plastic. William loves that stump bug. He had it on all day. I actually caught some fish on a three inch slim stick, but this one right here, you guys probably know by now is my favorite. That's the brush glider. And we did something a little bit different today. Normally I'll have that tail just like that. Today I had it sideways or a straight up and down. Um, with the way that current was, that thing was just flopping back and forth this way. It made it hard for those fish not to hit. And you've seen some of those absolutely engulfed them. Um, so that's the rig I was using. I do want to show you this reel. Not that you can miss it, folks, but boneheads come out with their own spinning reels now. And you'll be seeing a lot more of these in the shows uh, that we do up here in the future once I get mine. But again, it's nice, it's compact, and for crappie fishing, that's all you need. We were fishing anywhere from like say 11, 19 foot of water. That's all the line you need on there. So it worked out real well for William and I'm gonna be using those here too soon. So that's today's brush pile gear check. Scenic 515 cabins, the choice on Lake Fork. Featuring cabins with two beds covered boat parking, quaint cabins, a bluebird house and bluebird cottage. The bunkhouse. Scenic 515 cabins, Southern hospitality at its finest. Visit scenic515cabins.com or call 903-383-7885. That's what you got? There. Oh my gosh. Yeah, don't, don't just uh, hoist him or anything. <laughs> gosh. <laughs> That's one good thing about these rods. You can... Man. Look at there, folks. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, William, as you can see, that sun's starting to go down. Folks, we shot this show in about an hour in the evening uh, because we got to shoot at Lake Fork tomorrow. William, as always, dude, it's been a great time fishing with you. Yep. 
and this is crazy. Hopefully, folks, you guys learned something about this new Garmin unit. I know I learned a lot again today, and I've used it several times with different guys. I appreciate it. Uh, Palestine, folks, if you are thinking about getting to Texas, give William a call. Get down here. You owe it to yourself. It's a lesson, and the fishing is incredible. So, William, uh, any chance we can get back down here and do another show sometime? Anytime you want, brother. You're more than welcome. All right. <laughs> November Texas fishing here in Lake Palestine. I hope you enjoyed it, folks. William, again, enjoy fishing with you, brother. My pleasure. Folks, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned because we'll be back next week with Brush Pile Fishing. For more brush pile fishing excitement, find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.